when you're drowning people chemically to death. You found this out at the Senate hearing? No, I found this out yesterday when the Senate hearing was given to me and the transcripts were given to me. It was Dr. Joel B. Zivok, Associate Professor of Emory University and School of Medicine, the Vancouver Coastal Health Authority. So what's been happening is that case I was telling you about, Fraser Health is withholding the families. They can't see her autopsy. They're not allowing it. They won't give access. The police have tried to get this it. This is the same case. This is the right. same case. Yeah, yeah. So they will not give it to the family. So Fraser Health is a bed, like literally lying and holding information back. So what's wild about this, though, is dying with dignity says that this is a painless death. Well, if you take made orally, it takes between 30 minutes to 24 hours. 24 hours of active drowning while you're under a paralytic. So the autopsies are showing that you actually drowned to death and you're waterboarded to death within your own body and you can't move or do anything about it. And that's how dying with dignity in the Canadian government has disguised made.